Hi, my name is Taylor Chang, the Doris Duke Theatre Manager, and welcome to the 7th Annual Honolulu Surf Film Festival. Hello, my name's Abby Algar. I'm the film curator at the Honolulu Museum of Art, and I really want to thank the presenting sponsor of the Honolulu Surf Film Festival, Nordstrom. Thank you so much for supporting the festival again this year. It's awesome. Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Kai. This is Kama the Surfing Pig, and Brayden. My name is Brayden Holt. <laughs> yeah, we're here for the uh, Honolulu Surf Film Festival. Kama's the mascot on the poster. Kama, say hi. Look at the camera, Kama. Ham it up. Come on, now's your chance. <laughs> Ham it up, boy. <laughs> yeah, if you guys have Instagram, uh, you can follow at Kama the Surfing Pig. Um, and his Facebook is the same thing. But uh, you may be able to catch him in Sandy surfing uh, or Waikiki. Uh, summertime, fun in the sun. Surf's up, south swell. Yay, yay. Aloha. The opening night featured a screening of The Legend of Eddie Aikau and was attended by the Aikau family Ohana. It was the feature length film version. surfboard was uh, Clyde, myself, and uh, Eddie uh, went to, uh, at the time it was called uh, the Steamboats. Uh, uh, Steamboats had a surfboard concession out in Waikiki. And that was the first time in the documentary Clyde talks about it, the first time that we were surfing and standing up and riding the wave. And, uh, this was Sam Steamboat. Yeah. Sam Steamboat, and they had a rental, a surfboard rental in Waikiki. And that's where Clyde, myself, I think Gerald and, and uh, Eddie, we all went over there, rented our first board and started surfing. But that's what I remember of our first time, getting a board and surfing. Say aloha. Aloha. Okay, thanks. Two of the attendees were surf trophy carver John Nipple and body surfing king Mark Cunningham. 1996. So here it is, almost 20 years later. 18 years. John has been carving the winner's trophy for the Triple Crown of Surfing for the last 25 years. He's the artist who carved it. <laughs> okay. This held was, up pretty well. This was the second place one. And they're all different sizes too. Uh, the, the first place was gold. So they never even noticed either. <laughs> I'm doing the Olympic style, you this know. This is your pen, right? Oh. for the opening of our 7th Annual Honolulu Surf Film Festival and we're incredibly excited for our 7th year and it's going to keep on going um, so please continue to support us. Um, I'm just going to show you what we are raffling. So this is a poster that was donated by the Eddie Aikau, by the Aikau family um, and it was signed by all the family members and usually these run for a hundred dollars um, or more and but 
uh, the lucky people today are going to get it for free. And those people, um, so there are 25 numbers hidden under the bottom of 25 seats. Aww. So everyone just take a look. Everyone take a look. <laughs> given to one special person. And that person, if you look underneath your seat, there's three stars, like a triple star. Yes! Got there in the back. Awesome. Um, it's my honor and privilege to introduce uh, Kavika Kahiapo, who's gonna be uh, giving our opening blessing so that we can kick off this film, the film festival. Um, so please, please give uh, Kavika a warm welcome. I'm a full-blooded Hawaiian. I represent different entities in the community. One is Koko Hawaii Foundation, North Shore Community Land Trust, and uh, PBS Hawaii. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Aloha. Mahalo. Hello everyone, thank you so much for being here and thank you to uh, Kavika Kahayapa for doing such a beautiful blessing to open the festival, that was, that was awesome. Uh, my name is Abby Alga and I'm the film curator here at the Honolulu Museum of Art and I just want to thank you all for being here um, personally and on behalf of the museum and on behalf of Taylor Chan who's a, our theatre manager who just heard up here earlier. Um, this is, in my opinion, one of our most awesome festivals. Um, and this year we have our biggest lineup ever. We have 52 shorts and features from across the globe. Um, they explore Southern's heritage and the expanding horizons of the sport. And we're so proud to be able to mount this festival um, in the birthplace of surfing. And this evening to be able to bring it back home with this film, Hawaiian, The Legend of Eddie Aikau, in celebration of the life of one of surfing's most revered and legendary figures, and the culture which he loved and strived to preserve. Um, we're honored this evening to be joined by several of Eddie Aikau's family members, including his sister, Myra Aikau, and brothers, Clyde and Solomon Aikau. And I would just like to thank them and the Eddie Aikau Foundation for being here with us this evening and for sharing their brother's remarkable story with the whole world. Um, thank you so much. I want to express that Ricky Gray has the very last words of the film. Anyway, we're um, <clears throat> always very honored and very privileged to have the opportunity to come and share some, uh, you know, stories about Eddie. Uh, any questions in the audience you guys want to know or inside scoop? Um, go ahead. Were you, were you guys uh, associated with Gabby? Oh yeah, my dad uh, used to go down to Nalo on the east side and go sit down on the back porch with uh, Gabby and have a have a few beers, and it was always a lot of fun out there with you know Gabby. Our sister Mara used to work with him too for the city and county. Uh, you know, Gabby worked for the county, <coughs> teaching uh, people how to play. Guitar, ukulele, but and then our sister Mara used to work with him at times. So we have a question on the left side. Yeah, how might Eddie's spirit still be woven into the ukulele's voyage right now? Uh, how's he still a part of the ukulele? You know, Nainoa gave a speech in Papa Ed uh, when they landed, and 
in this theater full of people like we have tonight. And uh, he had this big picture of Eddie on this uh, screen as Nainoa was speaking to the people. And, you know, giving that, that spirit, any spirit is what, is why they're doing this. And um, trying to educate the, the young navigators. And, uh, you know, with, with Nainoa, it's really personal. Um, you know, Eddie is really personal with him. And uh, so, yeah, you know, his spirit, and it still lives on, and, and Hokulea, and Nino's dedication is, you know, with Eddie, and uh, to encourage all the kids, and uh, yeah, of course, it lives on, you know, his memory lives on with uh, Hokulea. For him, it was, uh, I guess, uh, the perfect ending for him. And what he was trying to accomplish and where he ended up so you know we're we're happy with that uh, to deal with that and to know where he is um i have some sons two sons that passed away and uh, they were young boys and uh, but we put them outside of waimea bay um about five miles out from the life god stand and so i i have two sons out there with him so um you know we find peace in in where eddie is and where the boys are so um you know it, it's a good i mean he was lucky it's a good good place to be anyway so you know with that you know i think we're gonna we're gonna end so uh yeah. you know we just want to thank all you guys and uh the academy uh for for doing this and uh, we appreciate all of you Thank coming you. down here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.